Most scientific theories are often put forward without calculating parallel studies of other areas of the same science. Thus, sometimes it just comes to the point of absurdity. It happens that the same object of research tells archaeologists about one thing, and on the basis of the results they put forward their hypotheses, and the results of the biologists' research completely contradict the conclusions of the first. For example, the same theory of evolution. It is put forward without taking into account decades of research in the field of microbiology, which completely refutes the aforementioned possibility of the random appearance of life as such, and with the development of genetic engineering, even more questions have arisen to the so-called theory of evolution. But Darwinists, in my opinion, deliberately turn a blind eye to all this and continue to receive expensive grants. And all this is encouraged from above, since no one needs the truth and it is simply beyond the power of individual conscientious scientists to change anything. Today we will consider the theory of evolution from the point of view of other, more precise sciences than history and archaeology. The first thing worth noting is the presence of 223 genes in humans, which are not found in any other living creature on planet Earth. It is these genes that distinguish humans from primates. But the most interesting thing is that a number of scientists who have studied this phenomenon have agreed that the aforementioned 223 genes are not a product of terrestrial evolution. These conclusions put the world's scientific community at a standstill. It is also worth noting that scientists still do not know where the man came from. That is they seem to trace again an invented and unconfirmed evolutionary branch from Australopithecus to Neanderthal, but they cannot say how man was born. By the way Darwin's theory is still a theory because it is not supported by anything otherwise, it would have been a fact long ago. All the stories that the theory of evolution is constantly being improved and supplemented, in fact, is the attribution of new chapters of the novel, which is periodically completed by a science fiction writer. Charles Darwin himself once said the following about this minus. Intermediate links. Geology has certainly not revealed such gradual organic changes, and this is perhaps the most obvious and serious objection that can be raised against the theory of evolution. But now, as you understand, with the development of science, there are more than one such objections. For quite a long time, supporters of the theory of evolution, taking advantage of the low development of other fields of science, in particular genetics and microbiology, assured that there is only 1% genetic difference between humans and chimpanzees. Despite the fact that no research was carried out at that time, they imposed on society their hypothesis that the genetic differences between humans and chimpanzees are minimal. But that was the case until recently. Studies conducted not so long ago have shown that the ideas of evolutionists in this matter are deeply erroneous and far-fetched. During the study, it was found that the genetic similarity of chimpanzees and humans is not 99% as previously stated, but is at no more than 95%. But even a 95% genetic similarity does not mean any evolutionary links between them at all, geneticists explain. Also, in the course of research, it turned out that human DNA and the DNA of one of the worm species coincide by 75%.4. And analyses of some types of proteins have shown the proximity of a person with even more diverse living beings. A group of scientists from the University of Cambridge conducted comparisons of the composition of proteins of some amphibian inhabitants of the Earth. The conclusions were sensational, so the studies were conducted several more times, but the verdict was the same. For example, a person and a chicken turn out to be the closest relatives to each other in terms of protein structure, and the next closest to a person after a chicken is a crocodile. The chimpanzee occupies one of the last positions in this list. When comparing the results of analyses of DNA molecules and chromosomes of living beings on planet Earth belonging to completely different species and classes, Geneticists accurately stated that similarities or differences in DNA molecules or chromosomes absolutely cannot be explained by the arguments of evolutionists. According to their teaching, the complex structure of the organisms of living beings had to sort of increase in stages. 
Moreover in parallel with this process, the number of genes should naturally increase. However, the latest analysis data obtained indicate that these scenarios of evolutionists are nothing more than incompetent fiction. The existing genetic similarities, geneticists explain are completely natural and moreover inevitable since the human body is made of the same material as the bodies of other living beings, namely from the same atoms. All living beings breathe the same air, live in the same climatic conditions, the food they consume is the same in structure. Thus, humans and other living beings on the planet naturally possess the same proteins and genetic codes. However, it should not be assumed that man and other living beings evolved from any single ancestor. Recent genetic studies, as well as comparisons of different species, have completely refuted the possibility of the existence of the evolution of living beings who have ever lived on the planet. The first scientists who began to talk about the similarity of the organs of living organisms were Carl Linnaeus and Richard Owen. They came to the conclusion that similar organs or genes are caused not because they occurred randomly, and then evolved from a single ancestor, but were consciously created by someone in the form they are, to perform certain functions and tasks of organisms. Modern discoveries show that the only possible explanation is a single plan of life. In other words, all life on Earth was created by someone according to his unified plan. It is not customary to shout loudly about this, but almost all geneticists say about the same thing. Life on the planet could only appear artificially. Also, many scientists assume that all life on the planet was specially placed in conditions favorable for the development of various organisms. And this is not without reason. The fact is that an organic chemist from Florida, Professor Steve Benner, was the first in the world to synthesize artificial DNA. It was an event of global significance. But later it turned out that it was possible to create a molecule, but it was impossible to make it live. It turned out that two significant problems arise when creating life. The first is the presence of some kind of trigger mechanism that would breathe life into lifeless matter. The second is water. Paradoxical as it may sound, but it turned out that pure water simultaneously destroys DNA. She's just murderous. But we have been taught all our lives that life originated in water. Benner's research has completely refuted this. Imagine that you live in a large bag of water in aquarium and your DNA and RNA are constantly being destroyed by the water that surrounds you everywhere. And here is the paradox, yes, water is obviously necessary for life, but at the same time it destroys the genetic material, which is also necessary for life without which its development and continuation is impossible. This is exactly the paradox. German planetary scientist Elmar Buchner from the University of Stuttgart said at all, today we can say with full confidence that the universe was not formed by chance. Such a complex and well thought out system could not have formed by itself. Our equipment is becoming more sensitive every day. Thanks to this, we are making discoveries that the classical cosmological model is simply unable to explain today. That is most scientists, by means of the development of certain fields of science, already confidently refute the Big Bang Theory, according to which complete chaos should have happened at all and certainly not so ordered universe consisting of galaxies and stars interacting with each other and moving at different speeds. Moreover, all this most complicated mechanism works with amazing accuracy and consistency. With a large and powerful explosion, this is simply impossible. Thus, none of the postulates of the modern generally accepted theory of the origin of life is confirmed by any of the modern studies, but only on the contrary refutes them. Everything that surrounds us is definitely created artificially, and not by the will of a simple accident. But by whom and for what this life was created, remains a big mystery to which we have yet to find an answer. In conclusion, Ask yourself one simple question. If in a wild forest, going out to the edge of the forest, you would suddenly see a chair standing alone, and when you reached the neighboring village, you would be told that the chair appeared after the fall of an air bomb during World War II more precisely, not even a chair, but at first there was a stool, which subsequently evolved into a beautiful and aesthetic chair. Will you believe it? But a chair is not even a living organism, which as it would seem in theory, could have happened by itself. Nails flew in from somewhere, wood was cut exactly, and so on. Nonsense. Then why in 2019 with the development of technology, engineering, microbiology, 
Many still continue to think that such a complex organism as a human with its most complex molecule cells and so on, appeared roughly speaking by itself. This reminds me of medieval religions, which due to their illiteracy and lack of education, refute everything that does not contradict common sense. Thousands of modern scientists around the world, conducting various kinds of research, have already come to the same conclusion that life on Earth was created artificially. Of course, they differ in some ways someone adheres to the theory of the matrix like Elon Musk someone to the theory of extraterrestrial origin etc. But in general they all converge to one thing. No matter how many boxes in the blender of all components, you will not get anything but mashed potatoes.